Okay, today we're going to explore using ChatGPT in a very specific way. Um, I'm going to start by making a series of prompts that show how you might write an article on caregiving using ChatGPT. So uh, I'm, I've pre-selected some of these prompts, so I'm going to be going back to a Word document and cutting and pasting them. So the first one that I'd start with is, what are some questions a person caring for an older adult might have? Um, ChatGPT is a large language model. So what it will do is it will do its best to construct an answer to this question in a text form when I press enter. So let's go ahead and see what it has to say. Um, it definitely likes to choose lists, uh, and that's because it was trained on a lot of data just from the internet, from news, Reddit, Healthline, WebMD, all these things. And a lot of those websites tend to factor data in, in lists. And so this sort of is, uh, it's been described as a blurry JPEG of the entire internet. And you get to ask it a question at a time. So I said I was doing a sequence of prompts. Uh, when you're in kind of one flow with ChatGPT, it will have limited recall of the previous conversations that it's had. So um, when we go step by step, it will remember a little bit about the previous uh, questions that I've asked. And so um, you can't just jump in as well uh, if you want to get really good results. So I, I recommend kind of going step by step uh, if you're trying to get really good results from ChatGPT. So here we have um, a more detailed list of these questions. This is on a beginner's guide to caregiving. Uh, and what we're going to do next is you're going to see where this really shines is we're going to actually introduce some formatting. Um, so this would be an outline if you were to just take this, if you were trying to use this as a, as a writing assistant, and you were going to go write an article and you kind of wanted to just quickly have some great structure on what to do. Um, but we're actually going to go a step further, um, and just because this is a, a quick uh, video, we are going to have it just try and write an article, and we'll make it, I'll add a, a little bit of language here, we'll make it a deep article, which will increase the length. Um, you can do it this way, where you try to do the whole thing all at once, or you can just go through and tell it to write a section, and go section by section, and then you'll have kind of a higher quality uh, article. But we'll just see what it can come up with. Uh, this can take a little bit. Uh, recently, ChatGPT has a, a, a turbo mode that they've made their default mode that is quite a bit faster. Um, and so, depending on if this gets it right the first time, I will say um, sometimes they're pretty good, and sometimes it's important to stop generating and uh, regenerate the article. But in the interest of time, let's just let it run through. So we'll now do an analysis. So I'll, I'll start from what we did at the beginning. We listed some variety of questions someone caring for an older adult might have. We then followed up with a beginner's guide to caregiving with a little bit more of an overview. And so it kind of takes this, supplements it with more stuff from the internet, and makes a little bit deeper. And then we ask it to uh, come up with an outline, and then based on that outline, it will follow it mostly, not, not necessarily. Uh, if you want it to follow it exactly, we can actually just like cut and paste it, but it does a pretty good job of having it match up um, section by section. There's a, a few differences, but mostly it, it's pretty close. It's a, it's a damn good start, is what I would say. Um, and this could be a short article 
that you could publish on a website, on an assisted living place, or just as a general piece of information. Um, it's kind of general, it's not as specific. If you really push ChatGPT, you can force it into some specifics, but if you're doing these large articles all at once, it's never gonna uh, really get the, the level of detail or insight or the X factor that really makes a, a piece of content interesting. Um, for now, that has to come from a human, um, but you can kind of get pushed in the right direction and overcome writer's block very easily using ChatGPT. So this was a, a quick article that we were making, but I would like to go do some other things. So maybe not just content, not just using text to generate more text, but let's solve a problem that someone, maybe a marketing director or an activities coordinator might have at an assisted living facility, which is what are some creative activities for seniors living in an assisted living facility? Uh, ChatGPT is a uh, smattering of the internet, so you can <laughs> use it to come up with uh, ideas. And some of these are pretty good. Some of these aren't amazing. Um, a lot of them are maybe uh, pretty basic, but arts and crafts, music, gardening, cooking, photography, writing, theater, dance, like Tai Chi, or uh, using technology, these are all pretty good suggestions. Uh, if you want, you could add a modifier to creative and have it do like crazy activities or Halloween activities or things like that um, and get things that are a little bit more specific. Uh, and then if you're not a caregiver and you're just taking care of your grandmother, um, what should I do today with my grandmother for fun? Here are some things we could do. We could go for a walk, visit a museum, have a picnic, play games, cook, watch a movie. Uh, these are all things I did with my grandmother for quite some time, and, and I think it's a good suggestion. Uh, it sort of gives you a physical thing to take a look at, um, and of course you might know these things already, but uh, it, it is a good uh, step in the right direction. And I actually really enjoy the last sentence at the bottom, which is, remember, it's not so much about what you do, but about spending quality time together and creating memories. I actually think that's, that's pretty beautiful. Um, so these are some business ones. These are a little bit fun, but uh, ChatGPT doesn't have to just be used for business. You could use it for whatever. Um, and so uh, I'm gonna pull two fun prompts. Um, this one is, please write a breaking news article about a leaf falling from a tree. Uh, this is a really favorite of the internet, and it's just it's just very silly. Um, and I feel like some of these like whimsical and good-natured things are important for stuff on the internet. And so, yeah, in, in a historic moment, a leaf has fallen from a tree in a local park. Eyewitnesses report that the leaf detached from the tree branch and gently floated to the ground where it now lies in a state of repose. And then it finishes with, stay tuned for further developments on this historic event. Uh, it's just, this this is the kind of stuff that is fun to do on the internet um, and maybe could give you an idea of kind of the range and creativity and ability of this to create text. And I will say, this is actually creating text. Uh, it might seem like it's copying from somewhere else that it just pulled from the internet, um, but it treats all of the other stuff on the internet similar to how you would if you read a great article and then you just absorbed bits and pieces into your brain and then when you came time for you to write a similar sort of article, some of those pieces came out um, and these, these are not copied and pasted from anywhere. These are not plagiarized. Every time you put something in here, unless you ask it for a quote, you're going to get a novel, unique, new piece of information. So this one I thought was especially fun. Explain to me what is a cat, but like a conspiracy theory. Uh, this is just a, a small, uh, fun thing to do. Um, if you wanted to play around with it, or as an example, uh, 
if you were looking for an activity with a, an older adult, I think playing with chat GPT and playing with AI and kind of staying up to date with some of the most modern technology um, in a fun way might be a, a great activity in itself. And you know, cats have long been the subject of intrigue and speculation where many theories and legends surrounding their mysterious nature. Some people believe that cats are not simply domesticated pets, but are in fact part of a vast and complex conspiracy that spans the globe. This is a, a great conspiracy theory uh, about cats. So um, just to finish up and wrap up a little bit, I also wanted to show how if you are a business, how this could be useful even outside of like activities and content and ideas, but for like a specific job related task. And I know a lot of people have been using ChatGPT that are that are looking for work um, in this regard. And so I kind of wanted to show two sides of a coin. So the first one I have is generate a job description for a marketing assistant at an assisted living facility. And I actually would like to um, replace assisted living facility with uh, Avenidas, an assisted living facility in Palo Alto. And get it actually specific. Now, Avenidas, it has a, a different official name, but um, I wanted to actually put a brand in there to show that you could do some sort of a thing like this. Um, and you could just cut and paste and put your brand in. So, okay, I said we were gonna do two sides of this coin. So it's really important to generate the job description first. So here we are looking for a motivated and creative marketing assistant to join our team. Uh, marketing plans, campaigns, brochures, flyers, email, social media, market research, administrative reports, what the requirements are, what the skills are, um, offers a good work environment, encourage submit a cover letter and resume to insert hiring manager's email. We look forward to hearing from you. So this is where ChatGPT will get super interesting um, is because now we have a job description. Um, let's switch gears and pretend that we are an applicant for this job and say, let's generate a cover letter for this job position that we just created. And so if you were a job seeker, and some people are, who knows, uh, you could go to a hiring website and you could generate a whole bunch of cover letters or at least get a starting point on a cover letter um, by just pasting it into ChatGPT and it'll write a half decent cover letter for the job. Um, and of course, I want to showcase this. This is a super good example. Um, this is a cover letter that is designed for the job. So uh, this could be your cover letter, but more specifically, this is a cover letter that ChatGPT thinks is good for that specific position. So it might be more useful as kind of a, a, a navigating guide towards what you should do um, because you might not necessarily be proficient in Microsoft Office and Adobe Creative Suite. But uh, given the job description, this is a cover letter ChatGPT thinks is appropriate. And you could use this as a starting point, but um, usually writing these kinds of things can be very time intensive uh, and difficult and maybe figuring out how to start might not be great. Um, and maybe you would go look at other people's job job positions, um, descriptions that they put on their other websites. But uh, here you can kind of just get that blurry JPEG effect uh, and just generate an entirely new, unique, either um, job description or cover letter that just doesn't exist anywhere else on the internet. Um, and then put your own twist on it, jump in and edit it a little bit because it probably didn't get it right the first time. Uh, if you didn't like how it did it, you can actually regenerate the response and it'll give another crack at it. And sometimes ChatGPT will freeze or hang up um, and you just need to click stop generating and click regenerate. That does happen. Um, 
So feel free to, to give it a shot. So those are a couple examples for uh, how you might use ChatGPT in a senior environment or to help care for older adults. Uh, I really hope that you've enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, uh, please send me a note. Uh, have a good day.